The Ministry of Culture held an international symposium on Thursday to mark the 40th anniversary of the Kaohsiung incident. Also known as the Meili Dao incident, it was a government crackdown on a pro-democracy protest on December 10, 1979. One of the speakers at the event was Presidential Office Secretary General Chen Ju, who was imprisoned for more than six years for her role in the Kaohsiung incident. She said in her speech that the oppression of the martial law era also gave Taiwanese the chance to rise up and build a democracy. Chen and the Deputy Culture and Education Ministers attended an international seminar that looked back on the Kaohsiung incident. Chen shared her experience of that chapter of history. The oppression, authoritarianism, and martial law of that era gave the people the opportunity to resist injustice and oppression. To be able to devote one's life to a beautiful ideal is a very romantic thing. Organized by the Ministry of Culture, the International Conference on the 40th anniversary of the Kaohsiung incident brought together scholars from home and abroad. One of the speakers was Academia Sinica Research Fellow U Naida, who had submitted work to Formosa magazine under a pseudonym. He had been pursued by the KMT administration. If Jiang Jingguo had been the driving force of democratization, how are we to explain the fact that the Kaohsiung incident was seen as the original sin of government subversion? We were sued on charges of subversion by force. He was asked for comment on the legislative campaign of his son Enoch Wu. I'm no expert. One of the great things about democracy is that it's impossible to predict elections. The research fellow kept a low profile as he declined to weigh in on his son's campaign.